So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what my Himalayan looks like. Hmm. Okay, I better just turn the ignition off. Yeah. So this is what my Himalayan looks like. Isn't she beautiful? Is it? Yeah. I've done the seat. I've changed the seat covers. It's just a cover. I haven't changed the entire seat. I've just changed the cover it was black and I've done this color I put up a new number plate of IND and uh, yeah that's about it and the leg guard this leg guard it costed me around 1200 and around 200 for the fitting or one, 100 I guess 100 or 150 for the fitting something like that the seat costed me around like 350 or 400 I guess yeah 350 or 400 hmm yeah that's how I look like <laughs> so what else this guy this bike is a beast it it really soaks up all the bumps and and portholes really very well one of the best bike I have ridden as date till date and I'll just show you how it sounds. That's idle. It sounds like that when it's idle. See, can you hear it? Yeah. By the way, this is a stock exhaust. They do have a free flow exhaust, I guess, which costs around like 3700-3800. For now, I don't have any plans to install those, but yeah, in future, I might. I got these headlamps installed, uh, these LED lights installed for night vision they do a pretty decent do job in the night they do a very pretty job at night they give me a very good vision in the night I had I recently like I recently rode like uh, on Monday I left and I came back on Wednesday to Ali Bagh uh, Murud Janjira and it was in all in all I I did over like 400 approx kilometers in two days and uh, over there if you see there are very much lesser amount of street lights 
so where you can't where you cannot see a single thing when it's like like when it's like the when it's sunset basically if you see when the sun sets you literally cannot see anything like on maximum places there are no street lights and this is where the himalayans and the led lights came into play nam she looks really very good now i'll be getting rid of this mirrors as